shit, man! Holy shit! <coughs> Hold on, I'm coming! <coughs> Dude, I think these guys want to eat us! You okay? One of those psychos tried to bite me, but yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Well, we can't just stay out here in the open, that's for damn sure. Ranger station? Ranger station. Maybe we can find some help there. But what the hell, man? We're gone two weeks and what? Everybody takes up cannibalism? Bees me. Hold up. Shit, these guys look messed up too. Yeah. Stay low and keep quiet. Maybe we can get past them without being spotted. Help me move this against the wall. We need to clear a space for the wounded. Wendell? Man, can anybody tell me what the hell is going on? What's going on is there's more of them up here than I expected. We need to sweep the rest of the cabins for survivors. But I've got injured people here I have to tend to. Okay. We'll see what we can do. We will? I appreciate it. There's a water tower out back that has a good view of the campgrounds. Might be worth your while to climb up there and have a look around first. We've got some supplies in the locker over there. Take what you need and stay safe out there. Good sight lines up there. <clears throat> I'm there. Gonna take a look around.
Guess that's all there is to see. You hear that? Gunshots. Yeah. Guess we're not the only ones having a bad day. Right here. Okay? You mean aside from being lost in the woods, attacked by psychopaths, and watching two of my best friends die? Yeah, I'm Peachy. Sorry I asked. So, is it this bad everywhere? Man, I hope not. We got some survivors back at the ranger station that seem to know what's going on. But we didn't have time for orientation. Well then, let's get the hell back there. Love the idea, but uh, we got kinda... volunteered to check a couple other places for survivors first. Just think of it as payback for the time that you volunteered us for the running of the bulls in Pamplona. Okay then. You want to take point, or should I?
All quiet here. Why here? here. You want to know what worries me? They're setting up an infirmary in there. Like, why aren't they taking these people to a hospital or something? I don't know, man. The whole situation's pretty messed up. You think? Well, what's next? Razor wire and guard towers? That's not a bad idea, actually. <laughs> we need to make things safer around here.
Why are you here? I'm lucky they didn't hear that. Why here? I don't have enough space for this. I don't have enough space for this. All quiet here. What the hell? I thought you said you had survivors holed up in here. They were fine just a minute ago. Well, obviously not anymore. Guys, guys, come, come on. on. We gotta, gotta at least check the place. place. Somebody, Somebody might have survived. survived.
He's gone. Yeah. Poor bastard. Well, let's see if he's got a wallet on him or something. What the hell, Ed? To check his ID, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> get it off! Get it off! Get it off! Help me! <laughs> That guy was dead. dead. I, swear I swear to God, God that, that guy, guy, he was dead. dead. How, How the hell does that happen? I don't know, man. Doesn't, doesn't make sense. sense. We, we can't, can't stay here. Come, Come on. on. Let's, Let's grab, grab what we can and get moving. I'm already loaded down here. I don't have enough space for this. I'm already loaded down here. Where'd you come from, anyways? Me Where the hell am I going to carry this? I don't have enough space for this. and try to find somebody. Yeah, or, or, well, I kind of took that guy's walkie-talkie. Maybe we can raise somebody on that. Jesus, Ed, why did you do that? I don't know, I figured if he had a radio, there must be somebody on the other end. So you robbed a dead guy, and you expect his friends to help us out. Wait, who said they're his friends? I mean, maybe they didn't even really like the guy. Dad? Dad, are you there? Oh, shit. Uh, hello? Can you hear me? Who is this? Listen, we're stuck up here on Mount Tanner. My friend needs medical attention. Can you help us? Can you make it down to Spencer's Mill? Some of us are holed up at the church. If your friend doesn't look too dicey, we'll let you in. The church in Spencer's Mill. We're on our way. We'll, uh, try not to look too dicey? Looks like we could climb up over here, maybe? Oh, man, it's a lot of crazies. Oh, 
Nice and asshole. All right, we, we don't want any trouble. We're headed your way. You said you were... Not right now. <laughs> We're headed your way. You said you were a hold up in a church? Better deal with this first. We're headed your way. You said you were a hold up in a church? What the hell's happening around here? You haven't heard? No cell reception at the lake. Guess you could say we've been out of the loop. All we know is a bunch of crazy people tried to eat us. It started, what, 12, 13 days ago? At first, it was just weird stories on the news. Random maulings, violent incidents at hospitals, black helicopters in the sky. Just strange stuff. I guess they were trying to keep it quiet, but that didn't last too long. People figured it out pretty quick. People who die, they don't stay dead. They come back as one of those things. I told you that guy was dead. Seems like the only way to stop them for good is with a shot to the head. Anything else, they just keep coming. So you're saying those things are... zombies? I don't know. Maybe it's some kind of messed up super virus. Maybe it's radiation from outer space. Or black magic. Or, or the wrath of almighty frickin' God. Your guess is as good as mine. So, wait a minute. What's the government response to all this? Haven't they sent in the National Guard or something? The government? So, how'd you end up on this frequency? Just lucky, I guess. It was pretty chaotic up at the lake. You're not gonna tell her? I don't know yet. Dude, it's her dad. You want to confess that we killed her father and stole his radio before they patch you up? Lily, do you invite these strangers? Good, you made it. That one doesn't look so good. Name's Ed. Pleased to meet you. Come with me, son. We'll see. God damn it! We got enough trouble without bringing in another freeloader to use up all our medicine. Real nice, Alan. I offered them shelter. I'm letting them in. Us freeloaders have to stick together. Girls got the common sense God gave a tree stump. You're worse than your brother. Come on, I'll give you the nickel tour. I spend most of my time here, using the radio to coordinate everyone. Next up's the kitchen. Sam's our unofficial in-house chef, but... Well, there's only so much anybody can do with canned soup and pork rinds. Seriously, though. Rule number one, all the food stays in here and it stays sealed. You wouldn't believe how fast rats get into things otherwise. We learned that one the hard way. Sleeping quarters? Uh, hope you don't mind sharing. We're pretty tight on space here. Alan's been saying we should move to someplace bigger, 
but my dad's a carpenter, and he says we could build like a dorm room or something to get more space. How many people do you have here? I think you've met just about everybody, except maybe my brother and my dad. They're out scouting for supplies, I think, and haven't heard from them in a while. Rest easy, son. How do you feel? Like somebody took a weed whack in my fucking neck. We may have something here for the pain, but I'm more concerned about this fever. Could be a sign of infection. We'll need to get Dr. Hansen out here. I'll see if I can get him on the radio. Hey, thanks, I, uh, I appreciate the hospitality. Do not forget to entertain strangers, for by so doing, some have unwittingly entertained angels. How about that? I might be an angel. Look, I, I didn't want to say this in front of your friend, but fever is a bad sign, especially after a bite. Pastor Will's going to try and get Doc Hansen to come down and take a look at him, but if he doesn't get some antibiotics, he's probably not going to make it. If it comes to that, I promise Alan will take care of him. Bullet to the brain before he turns. It's for the best. Jesus, Lily. He's not a rabid dog. Don't you get it? More of us didn't make it than did. We can't be soft-hearted about this. Not anymore. We need medicine here anyway. You can't be sick. You understand? No one can be sick. So that's it, huh? Nice to meet you. Would you prefer to be shot in the face or kicked out on your asses? No, it's... Okay, look, we're barely hanging on here as it is. Medicine was some of the first stuff to run out. We don't have any to spare for your friend. I'm sorry. That's just the way it is. What if I find some more? Will that help pay our rent? Yeah, okay, sure. If you can find a place to get more medicine, I'll make sure your friend has a place to stay. His name is Ed. I know. If you need to resupply before you head out, check the locker. Nobody minds if you're getting shit done and you need extra stuff. Just don't take shit you haven't earned. 